Na goati hopa do ashu ashab wehena me Leroy Silva e gawana shashka hanu hapani washi goi kama goi so. Greetings. My name is Leroy Buster Silva, and I'm from the Pueblo of Laguna. I am a father. I am a husband. I am a community champion, and I'm very excited to be a part of the inaugural class of the Diversity Fellowship. Being from the Pueblo of Laguna, I'm very proud um, tribal member, and I grew up um, there from my from a very young age to when I went to high school. So, growing up on the reservation, you know, learning about uh, my core, learning how to live by my core values of uh, community, being humble in regard to everything that I do, but also to whatever I do on the outside, um, outside of my community, that I take back the knowledge that I learn and um, you know transplant it back into the community. So that's something one of the values that I've learned. Um, some people think that the reservation is uh, is is dire and is you know there's poverty there is poverty there is you know um, we have our challenges but at the same time seeing the beauty and that's something that I grew up with that I feel that a lot of people don't grow up with is the beauty of being connected to a culture being uh, knowing where I come from my roots um, but more so uh, learning how to um, transplant and take my my core values everywhere I go uh, no matter what I do in the world is that that I'm able to give back to to my people but I'm also being able to give back to the to the greater good of everybody you know everybody looked like me growing up and um, so for me I wanted to you know get out I wanted to travel and explore and meet new cultures and meet different people so I feel that that's been my um, one of my goals in life is to challenge myself whether it's you know I'm uncomfortable whether it's uh, some place or some uh, position that I've never carried before so for me being able to challenge myself and you know get to know people on the on the roots level get to know who they are and where they come from for me that's that's been gold my big learning experience has been traveling and working with different Different, uh, a diverse amount of people. So I feel for me that I bring to the Diversity Fellowship is um, my my want to learn from everybody, but also too is like what do I bring to the table that I can share for um, you know being making that commitment to community and um, you know that's something that I that I'm very passionate about that I love that I love people, but I also like love contributing back to the community. And through my, my journey, my leadership journey, I've been a part of the Americans for Indian Opportunity, which is an indigenous leaders uh, network here in, based out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. I've been a, a Kellogg Fellow, um, Culture of Health Leaders through the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, but also to learning from those, um, those opportunities to, you know, dive into something that I've never, you know, I, like I said, going back to being uncomfortable, is that I feel that that's the uh, place that we need to be in order to learn. On my nine to five job at the Not To Be Gay, the third foundation, working with uh, uh, native-led organizations organizations and people who, uh, you know, just organizations in general, so they don't have to be non-native, but say, hey, you want to work with us? You know, this is what we're doing and this is why you should pay, be paying attention. So for me, that's the love of being in community is getting to know people on different levels, you know, whether it's personal, but also to why are you doing the work that you do? So I feel that that's something that I bring to the Diversity Fellowship is being able to, you know, be curious about community, but also to find solutions of my uh, experience as a community champion and relay those back into the, uh, you know, my my fellow fellows <laughs> and uh, you know learn from one another. So sports was a, a huge uh, goal in my life. Again, I, I grew up with uh, was seeing wonderful athletes, you know, go on to high school, go to college, um, but also to not take it to the next level in regard to getting a degree. So that was my challenge growing up. So, you know, I always wanted to be the best at everything I do, whether it was running, playing baseball, playing basketball. So basketball was my vehicle. So basketball was something that I I did year round in the snow. So I really felt that, you know, for me to be the first of my family to go to college and to play college basketball, that was something that I strived for and that I succeeded. And uh, so again, if it wasn't for basketball, I wouldn't have had something to to run after. I wouldn't have something to dream about. So so with that, you know, growing up as a res kid in Laguna, that I really wanted to play basketball, and, you know, it came true. And, uh, you know, again, I'm just using that, that tool, that vehicle, as, as a way for me to, to learn and to inspire other, you know, not just indigenous youth, but people of color to really uh, follow along with, you know, whatever their, their passion is, you know, follow it because there's doors that will open to you if you just stick with it, if you work hard. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so sports has made a huge impact in my life because of that. And I'm very grateful for all the coaches I had, all the mentors that I had, but also to those people who really took the time to, you know, um, talk me down when uh, you know when we lost talk me down when I needed help so you know all of that sports has really helped me in my life in regard to you know taking on several challenges what I hope to take away from the diversity fellowship is just a you know a better look at you know how I can contribute to uh, New Mexico you know I I'm, my comfort zone is Native American communities but challenging myself to go 
out, outside of those, um, the, my comfort zone and be able to be there for everybody. So I feel that, you know, I have the tools, I'm in the right place at the right time right now. And, you know, just following New Mexico United from the, the inaugural year in 2019, I saw New Mexico at the games. I saw, I felt the energy. So for me to apply for the diversity fellowship, that's what I want. And that's the, the that's the feeling that I want people to to feel and to to embody the uh, the core values of the um, of the organization, but also to work together to, you know, we have our different yes we have our challenges yes but how can we come together to really uplift one another and I feel that through the diversity fellowship that's exactly what I, that I what I want to do is uplift people uplift communities but you know just for them to be you um, mean be acknowledged and know that you know we see you we know what you're doing um, and we want to highlight you so so for me again that's something that I want to contribute back to not only my community but you know every community in New Mexico yeah so you know so growing up we always wanted to be the first uh, Native American to do something and that's big you know in regard to you know politics in regard to sports we always wanted to be the first because we never seen you know a Native American on the on the screen growing up you know playing in the NBA or the NFL so I really feel that uh, working on the visibility of Native Americans indigenous people is that um, you know it's time it's you know we're, we're past time in regard to you know uh, all the stereotypes that regard to uh, Native American people and indigenous people. Yeah, I have I have long hair, you know, but you know, I give back to my community. I went to college, I but I still, you know, I am tied to my roots of back home in Laguna. So I feel that it's time for us to, you know, all come together in regard to, you know, we, we do have our differences, but what are those strengths that we have within those differences that can bring us together? That again, going back to community is that we can strengthen our community through diversity. We can strengthen our community be, by working together. So I really feel that that's where that's the beginning of you know creating that systemic change is that we take the time to understand one another not necessarily what are you doing or what are the disparities but also to what are you who are you at the roots level and I feel that that's the conversation that we need to have and that's where the understanding is going to have so once that comes understanding then comes trust so I feel that that we can do here being that so we are proud a proud people no matter you know which community we come from whether it's uh, our family has been here for hundreds of years or thousands of years so I feel that you know where it comes to um, the beginning of systemic change is understanding then trust and then working together to you know um, battle those uh, those challenges that we seek but also to being able to say yes we are we want to celebrate those um, our differences but also to our successes that we've made so far and uh, like I said together we can you know reach those those goals for systemic change and also to just um, you know getting to know one another and I feel that that's where we need to start yeah so again my passion has always been to community and I feel that you know all the knowledge that I re I'll receive from the diversity fellowship you know it's always gonna go back into the community whether it's to provide open doors for more opportunities for youth, for the communities of color, or all of New Mexico, no matter what, so that those doors are always going to be open. So I feel that, you know, for me coming in with a different perspective, that I feel that I, I can um, be the, the bridge to other communities in regard to not just soccer, but, you know, to art and unity and community that, you know, the fellowship is all about that, um, you know, being able to um, share my knowledge, but also too, he's like, what does that look like in, in, in my passions of working with community um, through my social enterprise, through the MB3 Foundation, through my own community in Laguna? So how can I use what I know right now, but through the Diversity Fellowship, you know, continue to have those connections and networking, but also to, you know, just being, a, being an advocate, being a champion for community. To me, New Mexico United is a bridge for opportunity because they're not just about soccer. They are so much more than that. I feel that, you know, just the doors of opening for community and seeing all New Mexicans as they are is that bringing who you are to the table, no matter where you come from, who you are, that we wanna, you know, we wanna uplift you. So I feel that that's one of the strengths of uh, New Mexico United. Um, sports as a positive tool for change. I feel I've, I've lived it, I've experienced it, and I know that there are youth out there, there are kids out there who want to take it to the next level and seeing that New Mexico United is in New Mexico, that they have something to strive for. And, you know, my goal is to see um, New Mexicans, you know, be more than two New Mexicans running on the uh, on the field, on the pitch. So I really feel that, you know, being that sports is a vehicle. And again, it, I know it from experience. I've lived it. I've seen it. And if it wasn't for sports, I probably wouldn't be standing here in front of you right now. So, so again, I feel that, you know, soccer and New Mexico United has put the mix in, and we, a great mix of sport, art, and community and unity together. And with that, that's a good mix to you know create something really profound and exciting.
So I feel that given the opportunity for you know communities of color or anybody who wants to participate in sports or just have that opportunity to shine, I feel that that's where you know we our resources, that's where our focus needs to be because you know um, in those in the ground we have diamonds and you know if you dig hard enough you're gonna find one. So I feel finding those opportunities for those diamonds to be found that's only gonna you know um, increase the the value of our community. That's only gonna increase the value of you know whether it's sports, whether it's companies, organizations that we find those diamonds in the rough that uh, you know it's all about opportunity um, because um, so far um, you know for so long it's always opportunities are given to those who have money who have um, you know just that access because you know that's something that they always grew up with so I so I really feel that you know the investment in inclusion right now in our communities and um, com companies and like the uh, New Mexico United, you know, creating the Somos Unidos Foundation is that you're investing in community, giving people of color a chance to get up there and, you know, succeed. So I really feel that um, that's the route we need to go, you know, across the board. Um, that um, you know we, we can only be successful if we include everybody. If I can identify one thing that I'm passionate about is uh, wellness. So I really feel that you know um, with wellness, I feel that uh, that's where we find our strength because um, I feel strongly that we were each person was um, is a part of a place and space around the world, no matter where you come from or who you are, that we all had a place in this world where we started. So you had your core values, you had your connection to the land. So, you know, being, I feel that our wellness has, um, has been lost uh, with that, but I feel that, you know, just the revitalization of who you are, where you come from, but also to acknowledging what are your weaknesses, what are your strengths, and knowing that each person can be, work on their wellness, you know, anywhere that they, that they want. Uh, so I really feel that, you know, that's been my passion for the past, you know, since I was an athlete, is uh, really um, taking into consideration that people are different, yes, but wellness is always going to be a part of our lives, no matter where we go, no matter what we do. And um, so it's, um, you know, changing that generational wellness in regard to, you know, being unhealthy to, you know, healthy and striving and thriving. So what grounds me is my family. You know, everything that I do now is uh, all for them. So, you know, applying to the diversity fellowship, applying to several fellowships in the past that, you know, I didn't do it just for me, I did it for my family because, uh, so again, you know, being a role model for my kids, being a role model for, for the rest of my family, you know, that's important to me. So I feel that, you know, no matter what I do in the world, no matter what I, what I say or my actions, I know it's a reflection on my family, uh, my immediate family, my family back in Laguna and my community. So I, I'm really adamant of, um, you know, being, a, being positive, being a positive positive role model all the time. So, um, so again, my family is, is the reason why I'm here, the, is the reason why I take these steps in regard to community because I want them to, and to see what I do and hear what I say to people because I know they will follow in my footsteps if I do that. So, so for me, I'm just grateful to have these opportunities and to show them to take risks. I think that um, you know, being able to take healthy risks is huge and I want them to be able to say, yes, my dad did this and I can do that too. So being a family man is you know, my passion and I love it. And uh, so again, just uh, being able to um, be in this uh, diversity fellowship is, uh, means uh, you know, volumes to me because I know my kids will see the, the benefits of uh, giving back to community.